number five. Sometimes I come across a game that immediately grabs my attention with the visuals. Mechanic 8230 Escape from Ilgrat is one of those times. It borrows from the point and click game genre that was so popular in the early days of gaming. It's the combination of hand-drawn 2D backdrops combined with stylized 3D characters and assets that breathe life into the game. And I think it highlights a strength of the Gato engine, the combination of 2D and 3D game elements. You play as a mechanic that must find his robot friend, RO2. Together, you'll unveil the secrets of the post-apocalyptic world of Bifrostia. The story sounds fascinating, with two mutant races, a city run by artificial intelligence, and a world dripping in retrofuturism. You'll be solving environmental puzzles and minigames as you explore the world in the first episode of the series. You can play the demo right now on Steam. Number 4 Neosno is a game that sparks conversations about loneliness, escapism, addiction, and the search for meaning. You're surrounded by post-Soviet wastelands covered by a dark gray sky. The world is lost, as are the people living in it. Grim realities are behind every garage and down every alley. One source of escapism, the nightclub, invites you to dance your troubles away with the pulsing rhythm of trance beats. This game is all about ambiance, and strongly reminds me of the first Deus Ex game in its dark dystopian vibe. The art style is heavy, unless you're in the nightclub with its splashes of color. The rendering style is definitely old school with pixelated models and textures. As the player, you'll explore the stories of the people living in this crumbling world as you share conversations and maybe a drink or two. Number three. Retro arcade games seem to be making a comeback. Super Spy Raccoon is an arcade retro throwback where you hide, sneak, climb, and leap your way to victory. Just don't get into the line of sight of the bad guys. There is a charm to the simpler graphic style of the arcade era. The focus is on the gameplay rather than making the experiments super realistic, and I think everyone should try to make an arcade style game at some point to challenge their gameplay design skills. Super Spy Raccoon features five single screen levels, unlockable character costumes, and of course, local and global leaderboards. There are even classic dip switches to turn on infinite lives, invincibility, and more. The game is still in development, but an early demo of the game is playable right now on itch.io. Number two. Now back to apocalyptic settings. Strategy games are difficult to make. There's a lot of balancing needed and they often take a lot of time to play. It helps to have a story that makes you care, like in the Outer Zone Survival Tactics. You lead a caravan of survivors through a world on the brink of collapse. You'll need to scavenge for resources, form bonds with your fellow survivors, and make difficult choices to live another day. The gameplay is described as a turn-based strategy roguelite and boasts randomized events, survivors, and maps every playthrough. The ability to create new experiences is impressive, as are the options and gear you'll discover. You'll equip, craft, and use dozens of weapons and items, as well as manage your caravan for rations, jobs, and who gets to stay. If you're into The Last of Us or The Walking Dead, this seems like a game you'll be interested in. You can play the demo on Steam. And before we get to our number one spot, congrats to last week's winner, M.S. Salmon earning a place in our 2023 Gato Project of the Year tournament. And don't forget to vote for your favorite in the comments below. And number one. If you felt that golf was just a little too boring, golf is boring, and that PvP and abnormal amounts of blood would fix that, then Blood Golf is calling for you. Blood Golf answers the question, what if golfers just started aiming for one another? You'll need to use power-ups, knowledge of the map, an elegant golfing technique to splatter your enemies or send them yeeting into the sky. Did I use that right? Don't think this is just violence. You'll have to precisely work your swing, add spin to the ball, and be aware of hazards. It's silly, but it's a great game to play with friends. 